Is it better to wipe over the socks or to wash the feet? Praise be to Allah. The majority of scholars, including Abu Hanifa, Malik, and Al Shafi'i, are of the view that it is better to wash the feet. They say that is because the basic principle is washing the feet, so that is better. Imam Ahmad was of the view that wiping over the socks is better. He gave the following evidence for that. Firstly, it is easier, and the Messenger of Allah وسلم, was never given the choice between two things, but he chose the easier of the two, so long as it was not a sin. If it was a sin, he would be the furthest removed of the people from it. Narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Secondly, it is a concession, and the Prophet وسلم, said, Allah loves concessions to be taken as he hates sins to be committed. Narrated by Ahmed and classed as Sahih by Al-Albani. Thirdly, wiping over the socks inc- involves being different from the people of Bid'ah who reject mm-hmm. it, such as the Kharijis and Rafidis. <coughs> there are many ahadith from the Prophet ﷺ which indicate that he did both. He washed his feet and he wiped over his khufayn, leather slippers. This led some scholars to say that wiping and washing are the same. This was the view favored by Ibn al-Munzir, may Allah have mercy on him. Shaykh al-Islam ibn, ibn Taymiyyah and his student Ibn al-Qayyim were of the view that either may be better depending on the circumstances of his feet. If a person is wearing socks, it is better to wipe over them, and if his feet are bare, it is better to wash them, and he should not put socks on in order to wipe over them. This is indicated by the hadith of al mughirah ibn Shu'ba, may Allah have mercy on him, may Allah be pleased with him who wanted to take off the Prophet's khuffain sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in order to wash his feet. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, leave them for I put them on pure. So he wiped over them. Mm-hmm. Narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. This indicates that wiping is better for one who is wearing socks. This is also indicated by the report narrated by At-Tirmidhi from Safwan ibn Asal. May Allah be pleased with him who said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa used to tell us when we were traveling not to take off our khufuf for three days and nights, except in the case of Janaba. But if one defecated, urinated or slept, there was no need to take them off. Classed, uh, classed as Hassan by Al-Albani. The command to wipe indicates that it is better, but that applies to one who is wearing socks. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Conclusion what is better for each one is that which is, is that which is suited to his circumstances. For the one whose feet are bare, it is better for him to wash them, and he should not put on socks so that he can wipe over them. Because the Prophet wasallam used to wash his feet when they were bare, and he would wipe over them if he was wearing khufuf. Ibn al-Qayyim said in Zad al-Ma'ad, He is not required to do more than is required with regard to the situation of his feet. If he is wearing khufuf, he should wipe over them and not take them off. And if his feet are bare, then he should wash them. And he should not put on socks so that he can wipe over them. This is the most correct opinion concerning the issue of whether wiping or washing is better. This is the view of, the view of our Shaykh, i.e. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, end quote.